All right. So the first question I got from one of my um, you know, Thrivecart supporters is how can you hook up Thrivecart to your email platforms? She understands that you can make the purchase and you get the emails like in your Thrivecart dashboard on the transaction screen, but how do you actually get all this to work and send it over to MailerLite or ConvertKit, whoever you choose to use? So super simple, couldn't be easier. Let's go ahead and walk through that real quick. So inside of Thrivecart, wherever, whenever you're logged in, you can click on your little profile picture up there, which mine, I, I never bothered to, to set up. And you can go to your settings right here and you have your integrations. And there's a whole host of email marketing platforms. They call them autoresponders here. You can click on that and choose whichever one you want to use. I've used uh, MailerLite for some businesses. I've used ConvertKit for other businesses and they're all, they're all fine. Use whichever one you want, right? Once you have selected yours, let's say Drip, for example, um, it'll, it should give you some very easy instructions like, hey, sign in and you're good to go. Once you've done whatever steps uh, you need to, and if it's not as easy as just signing into your account, there will be a video there that Thrivecart is very good at um, showing you exactly what to do. Once that's set up, let's go back into our test product we just made for an earlier video. We'll click on Edit. Now, the behavior tags over here is where you want to be. So this little behavior section allows you to customize the interface, like how these two systems talk to each other. All right, And they do it with if this, then that type of rules. All you have to do, click on the plus button, and then you get to say, what is the if you want to deal with? So, or I guess when as well, if, when, it's two of the same idea. So you can say when the product is purchased, the product is refunded, the cart is abandoned, a payment is declined. You know, each one of these is, could be its own video, so I'll just keep it very simple. Uh, when the product is purchased, what do you want to have to do? Again, you could have multiple different accounts set up, multiple different email marketing platforms set up. So use whichever one's right for you. I'll click on MailerLite. We're going to add them. Some allow you to remove from a group and add MailerLite just a one way. So I don't know, easier, I guess. Add them to a group. And then it should, if you integrate it correctly, you should have your different lists right there that you can select from. So let me just select a customer or simple profitable ads, for example. Uh, there's a checkbox here. It's all about um, the European Union and data privacy, and you kind of do what's right for you. But I, I, I'm in America, and right now we're running it for we don't check that box. Uh, but that allows you to say, hey, only send data over if they're in these geographical locations, or et cetera. And then once it's there, as soon as you hit save like that, whenever a per product is purchased, they're going to get added onto that list. Easy as that. So that is how that all works. Missy, hope that helps. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got some value from it, please help me out by clicking that like button so more people can find it and be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of my next video. Oh, and by the way, I have a free gift for you, my free funnel blueprint. You can find it on a link somewhere around here that'll help you launch your next successful sales funnel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.